STEAM program uh, is a program that includes science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And uh, in many schools, those are entirely different subjects. Uh, some people say there are silos where you, have, where you have science and you have art and you have math and you go from class to class. So our, what our STEAM program does is it integrates all of those areas and it is a project-based curriculum. So students are following their own interests wherever in those fields the interests lie. People expect students these days to graduate from high school knowing how to program. Uh, but in fact, uh, most graduating high school students don't. Um, so this, uh, that's one of the important things that this program does. 3D modeling um, is also an important area. Um, using the Autodesk CAD program, we can develop 3D models and then uh, print them out on the 3D printer. Not only their, the designs um, for objects for their use, which I think is very cool, but also um, objects that we can use uh, to create original robots. For instance, um, one of the great uses of it is create, creating uh, connector pieces uh, for different types of materials to put together into robot bodies that simply aren't commercially available, but that doesn't matter to us because we can design a plastic connector in AutoCAD and then transfer that to the 3D printer and just print it. Another skill uh, in the STEAM program that is a fundamental skill is, uh, is programming for the robots. So we're trying to get this robot to autonomously, like, if it runs into something, just um, maneuver itself out of the way of whatever it is. So right now we're starting with a, just a simple button, so if it comes along and hits something, then we have, we have a program written where it, uh, it'll back up, turn, and try again. Eventually we're going to move on to this um, like supersonic thing where you can tell if there's something within like 10 feet of it. So that'll be pretty fun. Okay, you ready to download the program? Did you compile it? Cool. Did you compile the program? Uh, not yet. Oh, oh. Okay, so once you oh, oh. download it and let it rip. There's always a very visible physical result when the robot does what you want it to do or does something else sometimes quite surprising. Uh, so that's always that's, that's fun too while teaching an important skill. We're at the beginning stages also of um, designing a large blimp uh, robot. It will be um, uh, both radio control in a traditional way but also um, it'll exhibit autonomous behavior and what we're going to try to program it to do is to uh, recognize uh, and um, attack, actually, uh, specific targets. So we're analyzing, understanding, and creating systems. And that's true if we're building a bridge, it's true if we're designing something, it's true if we are uh, building up a program. They're, they're interrelated parts that come together. Like all of the stuff that we've ever done here in the shop and with robotics, um, I'm really seeing that it can uh, help to support all of the students work here, um, in addition to being extremely valuable in its own right, as an intellectual pursuit uh, and discipline, I think it's extremely valuable.